And now for number 10 on the power rankings, Cody Johnson. Now, uh, Cody Johnson, he hasn't shown a lot of winning speed, but he has been very consistent. With a second-place finish under his belt, it's definitely possible for him to capture a win this season. Ninth on the power rankings is Denny Hamlin. Now, Denny Hamlin is not in the playoffs and has been pretty inconsistent, but he has led a lot of laps and has shown race winning speed. Can he capture a win before the season ends? Eighth in the power rankings is Brad Keselowski. Now, Brad Keselowski isn't far out of the next round, only 11 points out. All it would take is a good finish, and he could close the gap. Seventh in the power rankings is Kyle Busch. Bush may currently be eight points out, but he has shown speed a lot this season. He's proven he can get the job done with a win, and he's one of the most talented drivers. But can he rebound? Sixth in the power rankings is Kyle Larson. Kyle Larson is many people's favorite to win the championship. He didn't start off the season too well, but lately he's been pretty good. He sets 15 points above the cutoff. Fifth in the power rankings is Eric Jones. Eric Jones is in a good position to make the next round, sitting 21 points above the cutoff. He's won a race this season and has led a lot of laps. Can he win the championship? In fourth in the power rankings is Gavin Funk. Gavin Funk has won races, and he's very consistent. The championship seems to be in his favor right now, as he is currently the highest driver not locked in, 22 points above the cutoff. Can he keep his momentum? Third in the power rankings is Alex Bowman. Alex Bowman has been the talk of the town lately, scoring top five after top five. He won the Daytona 500 to start off the season, and he's been very consistent. He is just inside the next round, only eight points above. Can he get another win at advance? Second in the power rankings is William Byron. William Byron is young, but he has raced like a veteran. He has yet to win a race this season, but he's been so close many times. Will he change that within the remainder of the season? And in the lead in the power rankings is Kurt Busch. Kurt Busch is coming off a crazy win in Iowa and is at the top of the playoff grid, locked into the next round. The question is, can he keep this momentum and capture a championship?